everyone, and welcome to another edition of The Offseason. I hope you all enjoyed your Thanksgiving. I'm Benjamin Kelly. On this episode, the Royals recently announced the latest additions to the 40-man roster. We'll get you caught up on all the latest transactions as well, but first, let's conclude on the Arizona Fall League. Well, it ended on November 19th in the Fall League Championship game. Eric Stout did get the start for the surprise Saguaros, who ended up losing to the Mesa Solar Sox by a final of 6-1. to one. Stout ran into some trouble early on in the first inning, giving up a three-run home run, but he bounced back in the second to strike out the side. He finished with four strikeouts in two innings of work. Evan Beal worked an inning and a third of scoreless relief, allowing just one hit. And although Surprise was held to just one run on two hits, Ryan O'Hearn did score the lone run for Surprise on a ground out by Mauricio Ramos. Taking a look now at the final Arizona Fall League stats, as you can see there, Ryan O'Hearn finished 17th in the circuit with a 291 average, 11 RBIs and a home run. On the pitching side of things, Josh Dalmod finished tied for second in the league with 30 strikeouts and ranked first amongst starters in batting average against and strikeout rate, averaging 11.3 punch outs per nine innings. Jim Callis of MLB.com came out with the top 30 prospects in the fall league, and Stalmont was amongst them. Meanwhile, Eric Stout and Evan Beal both had pretty good seasons in relief for surprise as well. Coming up next on this edition of the offseason, right-handed pitcher Jake Junis was one of four former naturals added to the 40-man roster. He joins us from his Mesa offseason home. Coming up next, stay tuned for that on the offseason. Make sure you get a head start on Season 10 of Naturals Baseball. Season tickets are available now, and you won't want to miss any of the fun this year. Remember, the sooner you get them, the better your seats will be. For more information, visit nwanaturals.com or give us a call at 479-927-4900. Now let's get back to the show. Jonas was a 29th round pick out of Rock Falls High School in Illinois by Kansas City back in 2011. He was the 2016 Naturals Pitcher of the Year here at AA, and he is the latest member of the Royals 40-man roster. He now joins us from his off-season home in Mesa, Arizona. And Jake, first off, thanks for joining us, and how's the off-season been so far? Uh, it's going good, man. Just uh, enjoying my time at home with my family and my kids. I get to well, spend all day with my kids. and. Um, I have my fiance started her full time job, so I'm getting a lot of family time in. So what is she doing now? Uh she's a nursing administration rep at Arizona College. So she's she's trying to get people to join the nursing program over there and she's uh, adjusting to the, the full time job thing and uh I'm doing the full time daddy thing here at home. So with you being the stay at home dad, what is that routine like? <laughs> well, that's, that's exactly what it is. It's a routine. We had to get ourselves into a routine. Um, we wake up, we get breakfast, we play for a little bit, and then uh, we get a nap. And that's when Dad gets to kind of relax and get his stuff ready and get himself pulled together to go work out in the afternoon. Once they wake up, I feed them lunch. And as soon as they get done with lunch, I get them dressed and changed and load them up into the car, and we go to the gym where there's a daycare. And I drop them off there, I work out, pick them back up, come home, and play a little more. And then it's dinner time, and mom's home. And then uh, mom gets to see them for a few hours before they go to bed, and we play and go to bed, and that's pretty much our day. Now, I know you're getting married here in a couple of months. What's the wedding planning been like? I'm sure that's just been a thrill for you. Oh, yeah. it's It's been a lot, and there's still a ton to do, and we're two months away, you know, getting married in February, so... Um, I think Bree is a lot more stressed than I am about it all because she's constantly worrying about it, trying to make everything perfect. But I just have the mindset that it's all going to work out some way. It's all going to be fine. Everybody that is meant to be there is going to be there, and they're going to enjoy it, and it's going to be a great time no matter what. But she wants every little detail ironed out to the to the T, you know. We're talking with right-handed pitcher Jake Junis, 2016 Naturals Pitch of the Year. And, Jake, the big headline news is that you were added to the 40-man roster. First off, congratulations on that. Has your life changed in any certain way so far? Uh, not really, but, um, I mean, that is a huge step in my career. It was a goal of mine all season long, um, was to do the best that I could and 
help the team win any way possible. And uh, thankfully, I had a good enough year to get added, and I was a nervous wreck lead, leading up to Friday when they called me. I was uh, I was on edge, and I was I was pretty pretty nervous going into it. But getting the call Friday and um, them letting me know that they were going to put me on the forty man, I was it was such a relief, and I was I was so excited because. Like you said, it's a huge step in the right direction of uh, getting to the major leagues and and playing at the highest level. So you didn't have an idea that they might add you to the forty man up until they called you. I mean, not. I mean, I knew I had a shot, and me and my agent had been talking, and he had reached out and and talked to them one time, and you know they had said that I was in a good position, you know, I had a good year, blah blah blah, but nothing is for sure, you know. And um, I kept talking to my agent. I was like, what do you think? What do you think my chances are, you know? And he's like, I think you have a good shot, you know? And if not, oh, well, like, we'll look forward to the Rule 5 draft. And and if not, we'll just have to do it all again next year, you know? It was just a matter of the Royals going to add me or not, you know? There's nothing I could do on my end at this point. I had to I had to let my play during the season speak for itself. But the Rule 5 draft isn't sometimes a bad thing for players. You have a chance to get picked up by another big league club and have a chance to spend the entire season on the 25-man roster. Did you ever look at it from that perspective? Right, yeah, not really. I, my goal was to get added to the 40-man. That was what I wanted. I would have much rather gotten added to the 40-man than had to wait and see if I got Rule 5 and all that. Because, I mean, there's fun chances of getting picked up in the Rule 5 anyways. I don't feel like mm-hmm. too many guys actually get picked up you know so my my focus was definitely on on getting added to the roster and and continuing my career with the Royals so with that being said what are your expectations for the coming spring um I'm not really sure yet I'm just excited I'm ready for the experience of being in big league camp and being around all those guys and uh kind of a different look for spring training you know because you're going to be there a little earlier you're going to be around some other guys and hopefully just feel it out and enjoy myself and, you know, pick some of the guys' brains and hopefully come out with some more knowledge, you know. Well, you were one of four guys at the 40-man roster. Have you had a chance to reach out to Cam Gallagher, Andrew Edwards, or even Samir Duenas? I did. The day, the day that we got added, um, I talked to Cam quite a bit. I was very happy for him. He had a great year, and we're pretty good friends, too, so I was really pumped for him. And then uh, I shot Edwards a text later that day, too, and congratulated him. How was Cam's reaction? Oh, he was he was jacked. He was so excited. <laughs> he was just like me. We were both pumped, and we were just talking, and he, he's, he's really excited, too. Well, we're talking with Jake Junis here on the latest edition of the offseason, and Jake, it is time for the lightning round. What is the weirdest conversation that you've ever had during a mound visit? I think I had a pitching coach one time that came out. I can't remember exactly who it was, but he came out to the mound and he literally didn't say a word. He just stood there and kind of acted like he was going to say something, kind of looked at me, looked at the catcher, and then just went back to the dugout. So was that during pro ball or high school? It was in high school. What was your reaction? I had no idea. I had, I mean, I was, I was a bit shocked, but um, I, the catcher just was like, "What was that about?" And I was like, "You know, I don't really know, but who cares? Let's go. Let's do it." <laughs> if you were not a pitcher, what position would you play? Uh, probably third base. I was an infielder in high school. I was going to be a two-way player at NC State, so I'd, I'd say third base. If you were not playing baseball. What would you be doing? Oh, man, that's a good question. I probably would have went to college and tried to play basketball. I was a pretty good basketball player. But job-wise, I have no idea. I, I, that's something that I would have went to college and kind of felt, felt out on the way. Well, since you played for nearly every level of the Royals minor league system, what is your favorite minor league city to go to? Uh, I like Lexington a lot when I was there in Lexington. Um, that was a bigger city, and we had we had quite a, quite a bit of stuff to do there. Um, 
but for away teams, probably um, I enjoyed Frisco and Springfield this year. I like both of those places. Springfield, just because you're kind of in a college town and there's a lot of food and a lot of places right there and you could walk to the stadium. I like that. Who is the most famous person in your phone? Maybe maybe Matt Strom. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's not a bad choice. Uh, how about what is your favorite food to eat on game day? Game day? Oh, geez. I barely even eat on game days that I pitch. I'm, I'm one of those guys that just kind of is nervous all day long leading up to it, just kind of hanging out. Not really big appetite on game day, but uh, when I was in Northwest, the one thing that I would eat during the day, I would go to uh, I would go to Egg and I, that mm. little breakfast place, and I would have like a, a little a little breakfast skillet there, and it was really good. Well, there's a little shout out to a non-sponsor, so maybe we can get them on board. Uh, would you rather be a mind reader or invisible? I'd rather be a mind reader. Miserably hot or miserably cold? Miserably hot. I hate sleeping at night when I'm hot, but being miserably cold, being from Illinois originally, that that's the worst. Would you rather throw or catch the game-winning touchdown pass? Catch it, for sure. <laughs> and for the last one, I know you're a family man, so dishes or laundry? I'm a dish guy. I wash a lot of dishes around here. I feel like I do dishes all day long between washing bottles and, and other little spoons and forks and stuff that the kids use, so I'm a dish guy for sure. Well, there you have it. He's Jake Junis, a jack-of-all-trades. Jake, good luck in spring training. Thanks for your time today. All right, thanks, BK. I appreciate it. Coming up next, the great Balbino Fuenmayor has a new team, and we'll break down all the recent transactions coming up next on the offseason. Discounted mini packs for season 10 of Naturals Baseball are on sale now. Want to catch all the fireworks at our best ballpark? We have a mini pack for that. You like your Thursday Thursdays? So do we. You can get a pack of tickets for that too. You get to guarantee your same great seat for every game. You get two meet and greets with autographs and pictures and much more. So call us at 479-927-4900 to get it set up today. Back to the offseason, I'm Benjamin Kelly. So we just heard from Jake Junis, and he is one of four of the newest members added to the latest 40-man roster. Let's take a look at the other three. As you see right there, right-hander Andrew Edwards, along with catcher Cam Gallagher and infielder Samir Duenas were all added as well. For a full breakdown of the 40-man roster, tune in to the Naturals Offseason podcast, which you can subscribe to on iTunes, and don't forget to leave us a five-star review. In other news, the Royals and the great Balbino Fuenmayor have parted ways. The Atlanta Braves have signed Balbino to a minor league free agent contract. Fuenmayor massacred the Texas League in 2015 for half of the season, hitting 354 with 15 homers and 51 RBIs in just 73 games, including hitting 412 at our best ballpark. We wish Balbino and his family nothing but the best. The only other noteworthy transaction is that a couple of weeks ago, I told you that Orlando Calixte had signed a minor league contract with the San Francisco Giants. The Giants have elected to protect him from the Rule 5 draft and added him to the latest 40-man roster. Don't forget, for a full breakdown of what's happening in the winter leagues with former and current Naturals, you can download our pad podcast on iTunes by searching the Naturals Offseason Podcast. Don't forget to give us a five-star review. Special thanks to our guest this week, Jake Junis, for joining us for a few moments. We'll be back next week with left-handed pitcher Daniel Stump. We'll talk to him about his time in the Dominican Winter League. For producer Beth Salazar, I'm Benjamin Kelly. Only 127 more days until opening day, so enjoy the rest of this one. Thanks for watching.